What's up guys, Nate here with SimpleManStyle.com. Today I'm going to be going over raw denim. Check it out. Alright, so I don't know about you guys, but I know for me, the denim shopping process was always kind of difficult. I can never find that perfect for, uh, pair of jeans that fit me just right and felt really, really comfortable. Uh, that wasn't until I found out about raw denim, and I'm about to tell you guys what that's all about. So anyway, all jeans uh, initially get made the same uh, from the manufacturer. They get, you know, sewn or whatever into their, you know, specific cuts, whether it be boot cut, slim cut, taper cut. Uh, whatever and then they are dyed um, with whatever color the manufacturer chooses uh, for that particular jean and what sets the two jeans apart raw denim and regular jeans um, what sets them apart is um, the washing process basically raw denim as soon as they're made um, they are dyed um, right after being constructed and they are shipped out from there um, Regular jeans that you would buy at Abercrombie, uh, American Eagle, Express, wherever, um, they get washed. And during that washing process, it usually makes the jeans very uh, soft like these. Um, it gives them pre-distressed marks like this. Like, I didn't do that. Um, they came like that when I bought them. And these particular ones um, are from Express. But you can see in the back pockets here, um, they have uh, little tears. Um... You know, just little things like that. So they came pre-distressed. They came with the whisker marks in the back of the knees. And basically what all all of these, you know, marks are giving the jean is character. Um, it makes it look like they've been worn in for uh, many years. But the cool thing about raw denim is that right after they are manufactured and dyed, they are shipped out. So they come in a really dark... These particular ones uh, are indigo, and these are from Gap, actually. These, this is an entry-level pair of raw denim. Um, and these were like 100 bucks at Gap, but they, they're an awesome entry-level pair. Um, raw denim can go up to, like I think, like 500 bucks, I think, for a really, really good pair, maybe 200 uh, Or 100 like these, because I've got these for 100 <laughs> But, uh... Um, yeah, they can get they can get really expensive. Maybe maybe a little less than 500, 300, like 300. But anyway, uh, basically what it is is they come a lot thicker. Like these, you can hear it that these are a lot thicker than these. Um, and at first, when you first buy a pair of raw denim, you you're supposed to get them really tight on your body. Like when you put them on they're supposed to be really, really uncomfortable because after you continuously wear them for uh, month after month, um, they start to stretch and they end up forming to your body. So the bends that you make with your knee, the creases on the back of your knee, um, the hips, uh, how wide your hips are, they, the jeans stretch and form to your body. So when you put them on, they feel, it feels like the jeans were made especially for you. And another cool thing about uh, raw denim is that when you wear them, you make the distress marks like these. When I first got these, these were not here. These uh, whisker marks in the back of the knee. Uh, and eventually, as I continue to wear them, I got these maybe two months ago, and I've been wearing them every day. But anyway, um, as you continue to wear them, you will see um, little marks like that. Like that was from my old iPhone um, that I used to keep in my back pocket. You can see the shape of my wallet that, that's in my uh, back pocket. Uh, and th these are fresh um, marks. They're going to get a lot more defined um, as I continue to wear them. Uh, let's see if there's anything more. Uh, I've got little stains. Like, that's a stain. I don't know from what. I think it's like frosting or something. But uh, basically what all these marks do is they give the jeans character. And when you continue to wear them... 
uh, the more character they get and the cooler they end up looking. And I'll probably add some pictures of, um, later in this video, uh, of a brand new pair of raw denim and uh, like a used pair of raw denim that's been worn uh, for like two years straight. Um, another thing about raw denim is that you are not supposed to wash them. You are supposed to wear them every day for up to six months. I just burped there. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, uh, you're supposed to wear them every day for up to six months. Not every day, or as much as you can wear them for six months straight. And I know if you're new to raw denim, you might, uh, think, whoa, uh, that's kind of dirty. Why would I wear jeans straight every day? I mean, don't they stink? Um, yes, they can stink, but you can prevent that by hang drying, hang, hanging them up every day. Like I do I have a, a hook over there that I hang them on or putting them in the freezer every now and then. Um, it stops the, it like kills bacteria or stops the bacteria from growing. Um, um, yeah, so that's basically, um, just the basics of what what raw denim is um these if you're interested in these uh for our first pair these are the 1969 japanese selvage uh from gap uh they're 100 bucks um uh, a good another good entry level pair is uh urban outfitters sells them they're called uh unbranded jeans um for me it was either between these or the unbranded the unbranded ones are kind of hard to find um, because, I don't know, I just can never find them. But these, I went straight into Gap, and uh, they were there. Um, another cool, unique feature about raw selvage denim is this these little red marks right here on the, on the inseam. Uh, what a lot of people like to do is they fold... They fold their jeans up like this, and it's this nice, unique... Uh, red stripes and another denim head denim head um who are into denim they'll see that and they're gonna they're gonna think it's really cool whatever i think it's really cool <clears throat> um yeah so that's the you know basics of raw denim if you have any more questions comments leave a uh leave a comment subscribe uh let me know you know what you'd like to see uh, i want to do some um style videos later uh, I know that I know I didn't make a video last Thursday my videos I started my videos on Thursdays um, and that's every Thursday there was gonna be a new video but last week I actually had a plan for a video I was gonna review this uh, pretty cool product pomade um, and when I went to the barbershop they ran out so you know that kind of killed the video and I was gonna do another video but I didn't really have anything planned and I had a bunch of tests so um, I just you know decided not to do one and then I was supposed to do one this Thursday but I had another uh, two tests on uh, Wednesday and Thursday so uh, after my test I was just exhausted I just wanted to go to sleep but the schedule is every Thursday there's going to be a new video so I'm, I apologize I didn't put out a video uh, last Thursday for those uh, people that are following that small amount um, so yeah guys I'll see you guys next week and